Tonight, CBSN will stream Bring Your Own Brigade. A feature-length documentary from Oscar-nominated director Lucy Walker captures the horror and heroism of the deadliest week of wildfires in California history. It also explores the causes of a global crisis that is burning our world to the ground and what the solutions might be. Here's a preview. Even if climate change miraculously went back to the 1960s level, we would still have a fire crisis. Climate change is undoubtedly aggravating fire problems. It's a major factor. It's a performance enhancer, but it is not the only thing. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry to say this in a way because you get blamed a climate change denier or your soft denier. That's not my intention. But if you say climate change is the only thing that matters, then the only thing to fix it is fixing climate change. That's not going to happen for a long time. I say that with sadness. I've got grandkids. But we don't just have to build concrete bunkers and wait it out. We can work with this. And if we're lucky and good, then we'll leave enough for our grandkids to be able to build a different world out of. Stephen Pine is featured in the documentary. He's an emeritus professor at Arizona State University, as well as author of the upcoming book, the Pyro scene, how we created an age of fire and what happens next. Stephen, thanks for being here. So Bring Your Own Brigade gives us a firsthand look at the chaos of the deadly 2018 campfire in Northern California. There are dozens of wildfires in California and around the world each year. What about this particular fire was so impactful? Well, I think for many of us, it was the combination of suddenness and savagery that just shocked. I mean, we've had lots of communities threatened by fires. Uh, we've had fires burning into Oakland, and, uh, Santa Rosa, even Gatlinburg, Tennessee. But we hadn't, haven't had a, an entire community engulfed so quickly by a fire and with such lethal effects. And I think the other thing is that there were a lot of eyewitnesses, uh, a lot of recording on phones, um, audios. Uh, there's a lot of evidence of what it was like at the time, and the film captures a lot of this. All of this is uh, much different from what we've had historically. I mean, this is what the kind of thing the you, you see. I mean, this is the kind of thing you see in Portugal or or Turkey or Greece. You don't expect it in uh, California. Yeah. So, Stephen, uh, I'm wondering if you can tell us more about the major factors that have brought us to this point where wildfires are so big, fast burning and increasingly more common here in the United States. Yeah. Well, there are lots of factors, but uh, the fire community likes to uh, put things into triangles. So the big three are uh, how we build our communities, where we site them, um, how we manage the landscape which supplies most of the fuels for uh, landscape fires, and of course, climate change. And uh, no single factor uh, dominates, but I would, I would point out that underwriting all of these uh, is our addiction to fossil fuels. These are manifestations of a fossil fuel society. I mean, that's how we can build these communities in the way we do. That's why we have tried to manage land and to take fire out of lands uh, as we have. And that, of course, is underwriting um, climate change as well. So it isn't all climate change, but it is mostly fossil fuels if you decide to bury down, burrow down into, into the subject. Well, uh, I want to continue with you on, on that note for a little bit, because in the documentary, uh, you say that fire is inevitable, even if climate change wasn't at the level we're seeing. And you make the argument that we need to approach this problem on multiple fronts. What more needs to be done that isn't being done right now? Well, I mean, in a sense, if we're really serious about it, um, there are a whole bunch of things we can do, some large, some small. Uh, it's ridiculous that we have uh, fires threatening and taking out communities set from abandoned campfires or uh, rickety electric grids. I mean, these are fixable things. So actually, there are, there are three sets of things we could do. We need to do them all at the same time. And one is the first order is purely to protect people. 
and our communities, there are a bunch of things we can do. We know what needs to be done. And part of it is just thinking about these communities as urban places, not just rural sites, but to treat them as we would cities and bring the same kinds of fire protection standards we would expect. Um, a lot of this is infrastructure stuff, stuff we need to do anyway. We could do that if we chose in a handful of years. The countryside, the surrounding environment is going to take, well, it depends how, how serious we are. We could do it in a couple of decades if we decided to begin. It will take longer. It's slower. We have to work with fire. We have to work with the weather and the conditions in ways that we don't have to in the same way in a town. And then at a longer scale, we have to we have to get a handle on climate change or all of the mitigations um, we put into place will eventually be overwhelmed. So we need to do all. Oh. It's not that we do one and leave the others. We need to do them all. We need to do them all simultaneously. And, you know, this is a problem we as, as people created, uh, a lot of it with unintended consequences, and it's a problem that we can begin unwinding. Although, again, we should expect some unintended consequences. We'll have to learn as we go. Stephen Pine, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. As a reminder, CBSN will be streaming Bring Your Own Brigade tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, the documentary takes a look at the deadliest week of wildfires in California history and explores the causes and solutions for this global crisis.